Okay, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the photograph that you have taken, put it into Photoshop, and where to find your photograph. First, we're going to go to Photoshop. Now, depending on the machine that you're on, it may be in a different place on the desktop. So if you go down here to the bottom left-hand corner, you can just put in Photoshop in the search bar, and you will find it. Click on Photoshop, let it upload. Now we need to get your self-portrait that you've taken into Photoshop before we can manipulate it. So go up here to File, Open, and I'm going to show you where to find your pictures. Okay, um, if you go to your computer, okay, you will find the Art in Yearbook Share folder. That's where we're going to be storing our pictures. You'll need to go to Art in Yearbook. Click on the art folder and then you will have your photograph under self-portraits where you'll see me. Okay, open your picture. Now you may want to crop things out and most of you probably did this with your phones already but I'm going to show you how to crop real quick just in case you didn't do so. You go over here to the left, here's the crop tool. And you can move it around. I don't like it to be quite so centered, so I think I like it there. Okay, then you'll go up here to image and crop, and that gets rid of a lot of the background that you may not want. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to image adjustments and go down to threshold. It's going to turn it to black and white. You can adjust the threshold levels to see what you like. Maybe you want a whole lot of black where you see a lot of shadows. Um, that doesn't really show details of the face much so I'm going to adjust it back a little bit here. I like seeing more of the eyes, but it kind of takes away from the mouth, so I'm going to find a happy medium here. I like it right about there, but you see this bag under my eye? You can take that out later, or you can just choose not to cut that part out in your stencil. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. That changed it to black and white, but there's a lot of graininess in here right in here in the hair and around here. So if you want to smooth out some of that graininess, you can. Also, as you're cutting your stencil, you can make sure that you don't have it quite as jagged. But I'm gonna show you how to smooth things out a little bit if you choose. Once you have it in black and white, you can go up here to filter, artistic cutout. If you did this project last year, you'll remember this, the screen. We don't want the edge quite so simple. So I'm going to bring back the edge simplicity. So this shows you here um, to have it a little simpler. You can do it this way. I personally liked this better. So this is what I'm going to use for the demonstration. Okay. Let's go up here to File, Save As, because we want to keep our original copy. So we're going to put your name and cut out. Okay, so we know that this is going to be ready to cut out. We'll also know exactly where to find this when we project it up onto the screen and you trace your image. 